What's happening everyone? So following the success of the 2017 release Elysium, Raja Parfums is now releasing a Parfum Cologne collection. They're going to transform four of the classic parfum fragrances into Parfum Cologne concentrations and they are Scandal, Danger, Enigma, and Vetiver. If you guys want to hear all about these, stay tuned. They're coming up right now. Welcome back to another fragrance video. My name is Max Forte. Today we're going to be covering the new Parfum Cologne collection from Roja Parfums. Before I dive into the Parfum Cologne collection, I want to ask you guys a quick favor. If you guys like to smell great, you love to make a great first impression, please don't forget to show your support. It's very simple. Hit the like button, subscribe for a lot more, and of course, enable the notification bell icon. That way you'll never miss out on future videos just like this one. All right, so some of you may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of Roja Parfums. I think when it comes to my favorite niche fragrance houses, this is definitely on a top five favorite niche houses of all time, you know, think I'm Waj, Serzhov, Raja is definitely up there. I think Raja is definitely the epitome of the uncanny and unrivaled blending and utmost class of niche fragrance blending. A class act gentleman, Raja himself is a tremendous human being. I've actually had the pleasure to meet him a few times. In fact, I had the pleasure to interview him last December of 2018, which I'll pop up that interview here so you guys can look it up. A class act gentleman, great to talk to, tremendous anecdotes, you know, history behind each one of his creations, every one of his fragrances have a very thought out process of putting it together. In fact, there's a book here that I definitely want to suggest you guys to check it out. If you haven't, if you're really getting into the fragrance world, if you're getting into niche fragrances, The Essence of Perfume by Roger Dove is a great book. Stuff's really thick and it's definitely one of the best fragrance books and I own a few as you can see here. You know, there's some other stuff behind the, the, the lens that you guys can't see now in my library, but this is definitely one of my favorite perfume books and it, it talks about classifications, compounds, I mean it breaks everything down to the T. So if you really love fragrances, definitely check this out. And when I actually met him at Bergdorf and Goodman and I had the pleasure to interview him, he actually signed this for me. So definitely check it out guys. I think it's definitely one of the best, if not my favorite book when it comes to a guide, sort of speak, like an encyclopedia to the fragrance world. It's definitely something great to check out. So going back to the Parfum Cologne Concentration Collection, basically you have have Elysium from 2017, which was the predecessor, the original from this collection. It actually come in, came in two concentrations, the Parfum, which I did review for you guys, and the Parfum Cologne, which is a fresher, brighter, more effervescent take on this particular fragrance, which is basically a citrus aromatic with a fougere undertone, but all in all, a citrus aromatic that a lot of people actually compare to Creed's Aventus. I see the similarities, it's definitely close again. Go check out the review, but this is going to be a lot fresher and brighter with the citruses amped up. And that's what he had in mind when creating this whole collection. You wanna take some of these classic scent profiles, some of these darker and heavier fragrances that he had in this collection. For instance, the vetiver here, which is a lot smokier and making it a little bit more wearable. So in a nutshell, the, the, the process of this particular Parfum Cologne collection was to give some of these fragrances like Danger, Vetiver, and Scandal a more brighter, um, more mass appealing, you know, more accessible uh, sort of uh, scent profile. But let me dive into each one of these and give you guys my thought on, on each one of these references. So let me start off with the Vetiver one, which happens to be one of my favorite notes and fragrances, as you guys know. In fact, I'm working on the top Vetiver fragrances of all time. This is a serious contender to be in that list. Uh, in fact, I have the original Vetiver Parfum, which is a smaller 50 ml bottle with the Swarovski black cap. And in comparison, you know, side by side between this one and the other one, then the Parfum version is going to be a little bit smokier. This is going to be a lot brighter and more effervescent. Definitely amped up in the citruses. It really tones down the smokiness and the earthiness of the Vetiver here by adding this really nice creamy lavender with a Chypre uh, undertone. There's definitely that green mossy feel. And the Vetiver is going to be great here, a little bit spicy. Just a tremendous Vetiver fragrance. If you are a fan of Vetiver like I am, this is definitely a must try. Next up, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about Scandal Pour Homme. This is again, the Parfum Cologne Concentration. It smells amazing, guys. If you like that barbershop, fougere, citrus aromatic, um, 
kind of a scent profile, you'll absolutely love this one. The fragrance right over here on, on my left hand side here, your right hand side, which is Eau Sauvage 1000 ml bottle. It is a real bottle. I get a lot of questions about that bottle. I love Eau Sauvage. It happens to be one of my favorite fragrances of all time. And I think Raja captured the essence of the original powerhouse Eau Sauvage with this particular fragrance because what you find today in the market is a shadow of what that fragrance once was. And with this particular concentration, or the parfum concentration, it's definitely capturing that beautiful essence, that powerhouse, citrus aromatic slash fougere, barbershop feel that this fragrance has to offer. An absolute powerhouse of a fragrance, I love it, but it's a little bit less uh, animalic than you would get with the parfum concentration. So, so definitely more wearable, and if you do are a fan of the fougere genre, I think you're gonna love this one. Perhaps a little bit more mature than the other compositions, especially Elysium, which I think it's a lot more youthful, more playful. This is going to be, again, that fougere, citrus aromatic slash barbershop feel type scent. Speaking of tradition meets modern, here's one of my favorites, I think, from all the parfum cologne concentrations. I did love them all, but this has been my favorite. In fact, if you look close Closely, you'll see that I wore this one the most. And this is, of course, Danger. Danger is going to be a oriental spicy scent with a leathery undertone. Think of, you know, classy, old school type powerhouse fragrances like Guerlain's Heritage. That's what you're gonna get here. It's a spicy, orangey, citrus kind of feel with a leathery, spicy undertone. I absolutely love this stuff. A powerhouse of a scent, one that really demands attention, a head-turning, attention-grabbing type scent. With Danger, you're definitely gonna have an orangey, citrus, warm and spicy, almost animalic undertone to the fragrance. Think gold, uh, mouage gold. It's going to be animalic, a little bit of a honey kind of a tinge. There's a mossy element here. It's warm, it's spicy, it's very inviting, but it's definitely a mature powerhouse type scent. But the great thing about this particular concentration is that it adds brilliance, brightness, and a modern take on this, you know, timeless classic scent profile. So definitely check this, this cologne, um, parfum cologne lineup, guys. I think you're gonna love it. Uh, perhaps if you thought some of the older parfum concentrations were a little too much, I think this stuff is just right. You're gonna get the bright, you're gonna get effervescent, more citrus openings that are going to be a lot more inviting. However, you're still gonna get the powerhouse um, performance that you come to expect with these amazing Roja Dove fragrances. Now I don't have the Enigma Parfum Cologne concentration. I can't wait to try it. They were all sold out uh, when I did get these, so I can't wait to actually check this out. But as soon as I do get the Parfum Cologne, perhaps I'll do a whole review on it because it is one of my favorite colognes. It is one of my favorite fragrances of all time and definitely my favorite from what Roja has to offer up to this point. When it, when it comes to performance, I actually got seven to eight hours with each one of these particular references. As far as projection, they actually push very nice for the first couple hours, then they're gonna actually give you a really nice sand trail and sillage. So performance, great on these fragrances, which is awesome. Uh, the only difference when comparing these to the parfums, like I said, is they're going to be a little bit more brighter, more effervescent and sparkling in the beginning. You know, definitely uh, more mass appealing and inviting, you know, when compared to the original, which could be a little bit too um, aged for, in, in some, some instances, perhaps. They were capturing too much of that old school vibe, but these are definitely modernized versions of those scent profiles. Seasons, I think these are great for a signature scent. If you guys are in the market for a perfect signature scent, something to really evoke who you are, you know, when you actually walk into a place and leave a place, people actually smell that particular fragrance and, and just say, hey man, so and so is here, I can, I can smell them. Um, these will definitely do that job, you know, to give you guys a perfect signature scent. The only one that I think would be probably more evocative of uh, spring and summer would be Elysium. But again, I think all of these can be worn as perfect signature scents, as well as, of course, Enigma, I think, would be better for the cooler weather, you know, fall and winter. However, I haven't tried the Parfum Cologne, but I'm thinking that it would definitely fall into the, um, the fall and winter category. But other than that, I think all three, Scandal, Vetiver, and Danger, would make a kick-ass, you know, signature scent if you're looking for one. So real quickly before I part, I wanted to let you guys know that all four fragrances were actually sent to me for review, of course, all opinions are my own. But on top of that, I wanted to give you guys a special announcement. Roja Dove, Roja Parfums will actually be joining us at Scent Explore 2019. So you can actually experience all the references and fragrances that they have in their portfolio. And actually, 
I want to invite you guys to join us. A lot of people have actually not heard of Centex Sport 2019. So I'm going to once again invite you guys to join me and, you know, content creators here on YouTube and all amazing brands just like Roja Parfums. And there's also some other brands that will be joining us that I'll be announcing very soon at the website, CentexSport.com. So if you haven't been at that particular website, be sure to check it out so you can get the whole load out of what's going on at Centex Sport 2019. But of course, Roja Parfums will be joining us so you can check this collection and other great references that they have in their portfolio. And I hope to see you guys there. All that information on Centex Sport, I'll have a link below. So the bottom line, my final thoughts on this particular Parfum Cologne collection, I do enjoy this a lot. In fact, a lot of these references I actually like to wear more than I like the original Parfum uh, edition. For example, Danger uh, and, and Scandal I think are very much uh, more wearable and more pleasing to my nose as the old Parfum um, versions were. So definitely check these out guys. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised of, of the quality, the performance, and how well blended these are. And the other great thing about these particular fragrances is that because they are a new collection, they're actually going to be a little bit more accessible to everyone. I believe like that some of the parfums can range between 385 to 485 in price and these are going to be below $300 USD so I think definitely more accessible and definitely one collection that I think you guys will love. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll do one more for you guys. One lucky subscriber will get a 5 ml decant of each one of these four parfum cologne fragrances from Roger Parfums. All you have to do is going to be linked below. Be sure to follow, you know, how to enter. And then within two weeks time, I will pin a comment to the top of this video with the winner. So be sure to check that out back here in two weeks to see if you won. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you for all your support. In the meantime, as always, smell well, wear what truly moves you, and I'll catch you real soon. Take care.